hub rests on this grand vision of openness. Um, I think that's pretty revolutionary as a concept. It's um, collaborating with like-minded um, organizations and individuals. We very strongly believe that better informed decision making ultimately results in improvements in the lives of poor people. Because it's open, because it's free, then the aim is that people could actually go and take some content out of the store, if you like, and play around with it in formats that might be more appropriate for their audiences. So whether that be websites or whether it be mobile phones, whether it be applications, and it's bringing in a range of partners to actually be able to access that content and really become familiar with the open data environment. So in around 2010, 2011, we took the decision to open up access to the content in the eldest data set. So that's around 40,000 summaries and links to full text research documents from a range of um, research organisations. We did this because we believe that by opening access to that content, we increase the possibility, the potential for that information to contribute to better informed decision making in development policy and practice. We believe very strongly that the sudden voice in particular can contribute effectively in this area. So we're all about sudden research, we're all about sudden researchers empowerment, we're all about sudden perspectives that can contribute and take forward the policy discussions and debates in the field of development. From our experience of opening up our own content, we've learned that using open data requires a lot of technical capacity and resources. And for small organisations, we think this can be very hard, especially if they're based in developing countries. We're aiming to raise the profile of smaller research providers and knowledge brokers, giving more diverse perspectives on development. But without their participation, we can't develop processes and systems which work for them. We might find that we're increasing the digital divide, not reducing it. We're going to work with the partners in a number of ways, using peer support to help think through the issues and implications of opening up content, for shared learning and in technical development. By doing this, we're aiming to increase the partner's capacity to engage and innovate with open data and content. And we'll work together to share content better uh, and to link us all into the, the new world of open knowledge. I like the idea of the hub, um, I like the aspect of the hub which is about trying to capture a lot more of the research that's coming out of the Global South. Um, so Ella, um, Evidence and Lessons from Latin America, uh, is about trying to capture the knowledge and research and evidence that's um, been put together by researchers in Latin America. And that in itself will be able to contribute to this Open Knowledge Hub, which is promoting the idea of capturing the research from the South. So I think it's, for, for us, it's a great project. It means innovation as well. And it's not just innovations when it comes to um, the use of uh, new technologies and tools, but also innovations in our approaches to knowledge brokering and intermediation. The Hub rest on the use of open technologies and um, I think there's a lot that we can learn from each other and to make change happen and I think what's particularly important is that it stands for some great values. It stands for transparency, accountability, credibility and a, and a deep sort of commitment um, to bring together partners and make change happen.